coming up. The Dancing Dolls were one of the best majorette dance teams in the South. D, D, <laughs> and we're going on a road trip to teach our dance style. Can y'all shut up? I've been saying be quiet all morning. They're going to get the same type of training that I would do for my own team. You guys will be broken up into four teams, Team Kayla, Team Sanjay, Team Christiana, and Team Cameron. This is not just a training camp. This is also a competition. Cameron, Kayla, Christiana, and Sanjay, they're in competition against each other. Right now, it's a battle to the death. They're trying to tell me how to do my job. You bark, I'm gonna bark too. This is what it's gonna be. Hey, if I separate y'all, I'm gonna have to deal with the moms at every stop on our road trip. We got You're sharing a room with somebody. Unleash the hounds, let's go. Don't listen to her. All of them crazy. Team Kayla, bring it. It's kind of like the fight of the century. She needs to go to the emergency room. Total chaos. <laughs> when you step out on that floor, everything is on the line. Your respect, your skills, your soul. We aren't just dancing, we're battling. This isn't a game, it's war. And if you want to win, you better bring it. Our heads bow, mouths closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Lord, some of these girls may be nervous, and I ask that you remove that nervousness from their heart. Cheer them on, because some of these kids have never performed before, and we want to make sure that we hear your praises through the cheers of every person that is in that gymnasium. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. You are the driver. We are simply passengers. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Does anybody feel a little bit better now? Yeah. Everybody has their shirts and all their stuff that they're supposed to take when we get ready to go. Y'all sure, because we're gonna six hours away. There is no turning the bus around to come back. Question? Majorette dance right now is hot. It's something that's new and it's fresh to everyone else, but to us, we've been doing this for years. And we're one of the best majorette dance teams in the South. Okay, go ahead and get on the bus. There are a lot of little girls in the world that want to learn how to do what it is that the Dancing Dolls do. So the Dancing Dolls are going on a road trip to teach our dance style. Make sure you have all of your stuff. I'm excited because Kayla has been on the team since she was 10, and we've never done this. This road trip, I feel like it's going to open Kayla's eyes. You know, traveling, it'll show her that, oh, it's different stuff out here. You know, other than what I see every day, which is Memphis and Mississippi. Mimi, come here. Grab the end. As a dancing doll parent, we've never had to do this before. We've only done competitions to where we know we're coming right back. I got to spend all this time with Selena, Tina, and Ritney. Ooh, Lord, take me now. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I can't wait. Me too. Dancing Dolls Road Trip is broken down into three different cities. We're gonna go to Atlanta, Nashville, and Detroit. Our first stop on the DD4L tour is Atlanta. Atlanta is known as being the talent capital of the world. People go to Atlanta to be recognized and to find stardom, so I'm expecting to see an enormous, overwhelming amount of talent. Thank you, ma'am. Come on around, sweetie. Y'all parents, I'm glad y'all came. I'm sorry for the long line. It's over 300 girls, but we're trying to get y'all in. This tour is like Dollhouse on Wheels. All these kids that are attending this camp in Atlanta is going to be a huge challenge for me. And I'm utilizing the moms to try to help me make sure the registration process goes a little bit faster. Written, if you need to put a sticker on there. You trying to tell me what to do? Baby, yes, cuz she going to internet. She don't have no stick. She got to get her Baby, picture taken. I got this. I do this I can't every day. I, well, I can't tell because you don't you have don't no sticker work. on there. I do. I can't stand Selena. Everybody know I don't take no <laughs> You bark, I'm going to bark too. This is what it's going to be on this trip. I feel like well, you need work to work every you day. Need to add like hey, 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 you need hey, to hey, add hey, like this. Brittany already starting up, running that damn big ass loud mouth of hers. They're trying to tell me how to do my job. So I'm like, here we go again. And you y'all hang there, boy. We know you don't do that. Hey, why separate y'all? For real. Please, please. That's the person don't know I'm mine in the garden. Please, 
I'm gonna have to deal with the moms at every stop on our road trip. I'm gonna have to. I'm so glad we can stay. No, 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 no. Y'all can't stay either. Bitch, what? Ain't nobody finna come out here all the way just to do that? We down here, we don't even know where we going. Go see the city, get a massage. Even though we're not at my studio, this camp is my dollhouse. Moms cannot come in. I don't care where they go. I don't care what they say. If you don't like it, you and your daughter can go. Bye now. Good morning, everybody. Being a part of the Dance and Dog organization is not easy. You will have a lot of work ahead of you, so I hope that you guys are ready to work. I'm not gonna be in here holding your hand. I'm not a babysitter. This is not a daycare. I'm gonna push y'all the same way I'm, I push my girls. If you don't wanna work, I need for you to get up and leave right now. We're not coming in here and saying, hi, how are you? I'm Miss D. Come on, we're gonna get in line. No. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna still be the same person that I am. You guys will be broken up into four teams. Team Kayla, Team Sanjay, Team Christiana, and Team Cameron. First, I'm gonna introduce Cameron. You know, Cameron's talked a lot about wanting to be captain, and Kayla is going into her senior year, and she's about to graduate. So there's a spot that's available. So we're gonna utilize this opportunity for you to showcase how you can handle yourself as a captain. All right, next up, Christiana. Christiana is very quiet. Christiana is the shy one. We're trying to get Christiana to be more open and to speak more and be more extroverted. Next up, Sanjay. I want to prove to the other girls that I can do this just as much as y'all can. You know, all of y'all are captains, some kind of captain. I'm not a captain. But I've learned over this past season that whatever you put your mind to, you will get it. And last but not least, Kayla. This is going to be interesting because since I'm the captain, People would expect for me to win. And so what happens if I lose? Oh, no, 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 they can't have that. This is a big deal, not only for you guys, but it's a big deal for them. This is not just a training camp. This is also a competition. The four of them are competing against each other. They want to win stand battle. So that means their teams that make cuts for stand battle have to be willing to do the work. There are gonna be three days that we're gonna spend time in every city. The third day, it's performance and competition day. And they're gonna have an all out stand battle. It's putting my four girls to the test. My four girls are stepping into Miss D's role. Look at the girl next to you. If she is not on your team, guess what? She is not your friend. She is your opponent. The four of them are going to work you out. They're gonna probably work you past a level that you've never been to, ever. Y'all have seen sand battles, right? So y'all know how intense it can be. When it comes to the sand battle, it's all or nothing. Since I'm the captain, people would expect for me to win. I expect the same thing. You the captain. You supposed to be able to do everything, anything. We've been kicked out of practice, so we gotta find something to do. We walk into the pool area, and Selena's draped out on the chair like she's sunbathing, but it's an indoor pool. Hello. Hey, ladies. How are you down the two feet? Are you mad or not? There's nothing to be mad about. Girl, turn around. Let me see what you're acting with. You cute, baby. You cute. But you know what? We're just gonna have a moment of silence. We're gonna say a prayer for these bathing suits. Okay. Without all the bickering and arguing that we usually do, let's enjoy the fact that we're kind of on a little semi-mini vacation. Yeah, right. we are. The girls yeah, this are. Is as close as it's gonna get. Not. Baby, let me tell you something now. This tour is a competition for them. At the end of the day, yeah. with Kayla being captain and Cameron being co-captain, hmm, that's, that's a tight... It's a tight squeeze now. And came but one fit through it. That's gonna be Cameron. Hey, it's gonna you be Cameron. Cameron's gonna squeeze right on in and win it, so... <laughs> It's gonna be fine for us. We squeezed through tighter places before and got what we want. The camera and my baby. It's but about the camera. Oh, it's battle squad. The, is Kayla's gonna come out with this? No, it's gonna be Kayla. Hey, what you getting on up for? Let me get on up. Because you, you obviously can't hit me down low. Now you don't be trying to get all tall on me, Mimi. I ain't trying to you get, get all tall on me, Mimi. I'm showing up to Tina, man. Tina knowing her hearts, it's almost time for Kayla to leave. And I know she's not ready for that, but Mimi ready for Cameron to take it. So, how do you argue with it? Go ahead, Mimi. Cameron, Cameron, right, Selena. Don't listen to her. Oh, 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 oh. Knowing my hair got wet. Oh, I didn't like that. If I could have got a hold to Tina, 
Oh, I would have pushed her ass in that pool, and that whole pool would have been red from that ugly ass red hair. <laughs> Selena throwing a towel? What's the towel supposed to do? Throw me a shower cap. <laughs> Get my hair wet in the shower, let alone the pool. I'm done with all these bitches. All of them crazy. I'm out of here. Mimi, team camera. Camera gonna win. All right, let me have everybody's attention. What we do is split you guys into four groups because there are four team captains. I need for Kayla, Christiana, Cameron, and Sanjay to step in front of the big girls. My four girls are stepping into Miss D's role. Cameron, Kayla, Christiana, and Sanjay are responsible for creating their own stands, teaching them to each group, and doing their own cuts. These girls have to be able to stand on their own, not just in dance, but in life. That's what I'm teaching them to do. So my left split people over here, people who can't do a split right here, this is so important for all of us because every last one of us wants to prove that, you know, we can be a leader. I really, really want to win, so they're going to have to step their game up if they want to be a part of the stand better team. I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to do it? The, the, uh, dance. Get in the middle then. I need the girls to understand that, you know, this is not playtime. You have to come up here and you have to be dedicated to learning this stuff. If they look like they have no idea what's going on, then they get cut. It's going to be serious. OK. I'm going to do it with you twice, then you buy yourself. At this point, I don't know what to do, because these girls have never danced before, and they never even had a stand battle before. So I have to make sure that they have the stand, they learn quick enough. You know, the girls have to be spot on. Push and roll and invert. Being a leader in stand battle, is basically giving me the opportunity to be like a mentor and a leader for these girls. And you know, that's helping me show that I am ready for captain. Three, two, five. Christiana worries me, because she doesn't say a lot, but I'm hoping she speaks up enough to where they realize, A, you're not gonna run over me, and I'm gonna make sure that you know the choreography. B, I wanna win. One, see you're not paying attention, you talking. One, two, three, four. I mean, Team Christiana, you need to have a lot of stabs, a lot of facial expressions. And with everything that I put into these stands, I think that I could really do this. One, you doing it with me or you just looking? One, and two, and. Kayla's the captain of the team. She's the face of the squad, so she knows full well about what she has to go through being in the front. And she's talked about wanting to own her own dance studio. She wants to be a choreographer. She's got to be able to not only teach her own age group, but to teach kids of all ages. Anybody else need a breakdown of the stand? I want somebody who can do a lot of stunts. I want somebody who can dance. I want somebody who can actually be on count. I want somebody who can actually try to at least attempt to do what I asked them to do. I don't want no attitudes. I don't want no people who always got to go to the bathroom, always got a question. No, if you want to be here, you need to be dedicated to Kayla. So you're going to have to get your life together. with my own team, they're gonna have cuts. My four girls are responsible for creating their own stands, teaching them to each group, and doing their own cuts. Because this is a competition for them, I'm taking myself completely out of it. That way, there's no bias on my end. I don't know anything. So I hope that my four girls are gonna choose wisely. All right. Cameron's girl's just happy, happy, and they're smiling. And she's saying, you, 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 and you. And I'm like, Cameron, not her. She doesn't have it. But you know what? It's not my team. I'm not going to pick the girls for them. They have to do this on their own. Y'all got a lot going on. Next row. When I have cuts, if you got it, but you, your memory bad, you getting cut. If you want to do it, and you don't got it, you getting cut. So over the half of the girls you see up here, I say under a quarter of their cuts. Kayla is very technical, and she's thinking about who has the choreography. 
She's not looking for potential. It's a good thing, but it's a bad thing because you're not giving the other girls in your group a chance. Christiana picked all the girls that can buck, buck, buck. Now, I wondered how she was able to get all these girls in her group anyway when it was done at random. It's the luck of the draw. But Christiana's got a really, really good group. I think that this could be a winning team. The ones that I did choose as far as staying battle, I'm very happy with my decision. You know, if you think that you can handle Team Sanjay, you probably got another thing coming. very tiring because we had to stick so much stuff in our sand by the group's head in so little time. But I'm hoping that they go home and practice today so that tomorrow they can come in and be able to just walk through it and know everything so that they can do good. When did it start hurting? Yesterday? Why? You can't talk. Duh. I told you you need to text me. I know, they swollen. They huge. When we see something is wrong with Christiana, both of her tonsils are swollen. They look like golf balls. And she can't talk. But I feel really bad for her. Look at it. Look at it. The girls called me and explained what was going on. And after I realized Christiana was in some kind of trouble, I could only think, OK, let's call Rittany. Let's call her mom. No, I kept calling her phone and she wasn't answering. Christiana needs some medical attention right now. Um, they need to just take her. You want to go to the emergency room or you want to just go take some medicine? Yeah, go to the emergency room. That's what I'm saying. It's severe. She needs to go to the emergency room. Have left? You tell her I said it. That she need to go. Give me the phone. I'll call and tell them. Christiana's very sick. She's got to go to the doctor and get this checked out. Because right now, I'm really worried. Brittany. Christiana is really sick. We need to take her to the emergency room. Her throat could close up. You should see her tonsils. I told her what's going on. She told her she's going to take her to the emergency room. Okay. OK, OK. All right, babe. She said go on, take her. Let's go, baby. Go on. This situation is really unfortunate for Christiana, because obviously we don't want her to drop out of the competition. But her health is more important than dancing. Have a seat. Real quick, I have an announcement to make. OK, the girls that are in Team Christiana's stand battle squad. Christiana is sick, and she has been taken to the hospital. Kalita, where is Kalita? Kalita will be leading you in the stand battle tomorrow. Kalita is the former head co-captain of the Dancing Dolls. So I'm going to put Kalita in place to take Christiana's spot so that the kids can continue to dance, and Christiana can think about herself and go get herself well. Christiana is sick. She's going to be fine, but she's not going to be here tomorrow. Now, I have to battle. Not only do I have to worry about those girls, I have to worry about myself not missing up, because at the end of the day, they're looking at me. And I've never led a battle before. Okay. You got this, Kalita. It's competition day. I wake up this morning so excited to see the kids because I know they have worked so hard to prep for this one performance, to be out there, what, two or three minutes, to showcase their talents and their hard work. As soon as we arrive to the competition site, the first thing I notice, there are people everywhere. I told y'all that in a minute. I have no control over that. It's first come, first serve. I don't want nobody in the gym. I got the people out. I need to have an account of who's in here. You cannot open the door if y'all all cry on the door. y'all in front of these people. I have an enormous weight on me because I want to make sure that all of the parents of the kids that are participating in the camp can get in. Over 300 girls, plus parents, plus family and friends. Oh, oh I didn't know it was going to be like this. The doors weren't open yet. People were getting antsy and fussy. Teetotal chaos. Like we see people passing out. And I'm like, you know, I ain't never been that close to people passing out. That's Scary! <laughs> I hear this noise. I'm like, what, what is that? And I see this lady speaking in tongue. <laughs> <laughs> we want to let them in about at 1.30. 
So if we can get it okay. done by Let then. Me see what I can do. Okay, thank right. you. Okay. After all the fussing and arguing and the chaos, everybody ended up being okay. And the event was still able to happen. Y'all kept going in the gym. Thank God for that, because it could have been a lot worse. It's time for us to get ready to start the show. You guys have worked for two long days to just get ready for this one day, for these 30 seconds that you're about to be out here on the floor. Going into today's performance and competition, it feels weird. It's not the same as a normal competition that we would go to compete in. Is there anybody that's nervous? Raise your hand. We have an entire training camp of participants that are about to perform in. I'm afraid that I'm setting them up for something that could potentially hurt their self-confidence. Some of these girls have never performed before. So those of you that have performed, take your confidence, give it to your neighbor. Maybe it's just me, but I'm really, really scared for them. Also, my four girls are not dancing together. They're dancing against each other today. I can't give them individual pep talks. They're on their own today. Making them compete against each other, I think it's gonna help them all develop more as captains. It's a part of growing up, and it's a part of growing into becoming a great dancer. Everybody put your hands on the person that is in front of you. Heads bowed, mouths closed. Lord, some of these girls may be nervous, and I ask that you remove that nervousness from their heart. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. You are the driver. We are simply passengers. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Does anybody feel a little bit better now? Yeah. D.D. Yeah. for L. D.D. for L. All right, here we go. Pull a number. Pull a number. At every competition that the Dancing Dolls compete in, all of the directors are called to the floor and they have to pull numbers. The road trip, it's no different. The girls pull numbers, and Sanjay and Cameron face off, and Kayla and Khalida face off. The winners of the first round will determine whether or not you go to the final round. Bring it to the floor, let's go. These two, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Khalida is still a tough cookie. But also, she had to like immediately take over Christiana Group. So I kind of have an advantage and a disadvantage because her herself, she go hard. But we don't know how good she was with just immediately taking over Group. Usually, I'm on the same side as Kayla, making sure, oh, you have what you're supposed to have? Oh, let me make sure I have it so you have it. It was stressful because I'm like, okay, how is this going to end? You getting crap, don't chase money, make money. I'm a hustler. I was proud of Khalida because she did such a good job taking over Christian squad at the last minute, but then I came to be like, oh, Khalida, you're doing good, girl, because right now we battling each other. I know that you love me. They have taught those girls. Everybody on that floor is getting it, and they are killing it. I was nervous because it's very important that Kayla wins this competition. Your reputation's on the line. Drum roll. The winner is Team Kayla. Thank God I got past the first round. And now Cameron and Sanjay battle. And like, Cameron is like the person who kept telling me that she's coming for me. She not even worried about Sanjay. So I hope me and Cameron do get to go face off. Where's Cameron's battle squad? Bring it to the floor. Where's Sanjay's battle squad? Bring it to the floor. Let's go. I am nervous because, you know, I'm just now making stands. So with me to sit up here and beat you with my own stands, you'll probably be a shocker. But you know, it, it's doable. <laughs> When I find out I'm going against Sanjay, I'm just like, okay, I'll throw all my easy stats first. Because, you know, I'm basically trying to get to Kayla, so I'm like, all right, next. Cameron hit the ground running. It's so funny to sit back and watch Cameron be aggressive because I'm not used to that. 
I'm not used to this side of who she is. Baby, she's bucking it down. These girls behind her, Sanjay taught them very well. Let's get to Kayla. Bring on the big fish. Bring it to the floor, Team Cameron. Bring it to the floor, Team Kayla. I can tell that Cameron been waiting on this moment, look like all her life. That's the first time I've seen Cameron thug up like that in my face. So I'm like, OK, Cameron ready. All right, Team Cameron, you're first. intensity level went from here to up here. Cameron, she looks sweet on the outside, but when she started dancing, she turned into a totally different person. Give you a ghost with every line. Ain't Russell Crowe, but I got a beautiful mind. The insomnia... Well, nice to meet you. My name is Tina, and you are? Because this is not Cammy. Oh, what is gonna happen now? I drunk the one time, but still I came as refined. We out front, ain't even peaked yet. Homie, you in your prime. Whenever we... Kayla is very smart. She's gonna make sure that her choreography is difficult and it's clean. That's just how she is. I'll pat myself on the back. I trained her well. This is Cameron's opportunity to show Miss Diana I ain't scared, I ain't backing down. I can go against Kayla with no problem. That means I can be a captain just like Kayla, maybe even better. Cameron has been coming very aggressive the entire time we've been at Camp in Atlanta. And she started to come into her own. She started to realize I can actually beat my captain. I make Cameron's day if she just won today, but I don't want that to happen. Sure, I want Cameron to be happy now. I'm not gonna let it happen. For the judges to make a decision. I'm like, just say Cameron, it's okay. It's not, nobody's gonna be mad. <laughs> but Tina. Cameron did a good job. They were clean. I mean, the judges take forever. And when I say forever, like they waiting on Jesus to come back forever, I like automatically feel like I lost because it takes too long. Like, too long. <laughs> The winner of the stand battle is Team Cameron. Now Cameron can say that she beat me, so I'm pretty sure Cameron feels great. Good for you, but next week it's gonna be a completely different story. I beat Kayla. I'm pretty sure Kayla's gonna be gunning for me next time. Bring it on. Yeah, I can handle it. This um, camp has really helped me become like a leader because you know I was responsible for my group. I had to make sure like they do this, and I, you know, I had to tell them. And I think they, they listened to me. They understood what I was saying. So I think that will help. The next stop on the road trip is Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA. I expect for all the girls to really come after each other more than they did when we were in Atlanta. Cameron ended up winning, and I know that Kayla's gonna change up her strategy even more. 
Sanjay realized no matter who is standing up here, I'm gonna have to come at them hard. Kalia is gonna be taking Christiana's spot, throw a whole other firecracker in the mix of all these lit matches and watch it explode. These are jazz hands. With your fingers spread wide, squeeze your fingers together. My initial impression of the girls from Nashville is that they're very eager. And it made me feel like, OK, this is going to be easy. All right, stop looking around and look at me. But as we get started, I noticed that that's not it at all. A lot of the girls are just kind of looking around like, you want me to do what? Yeah, arm up, arm up, yeah. Just try it. Even if it's wrong, I just want you to try it. I'm a little disappointed because you know, Nashville is not that far from Memphis, and Memphis, Tennessee has amazing dancers. And there are a lot of amazing dancers in Nashville as well. My girls have their work cut out for them this week. They only have a couple of days to teach all of their stands and to perfect them before they put them out there on the floor. Where are you going? We're in the middle of practice, and I noticed that there's this one girl, and she grabs her stuff. I'm like, where is she going? Code 10, we have an inmate trying to escape the camp. But I have a dancing for you. Okay. I said I was gonna try this, and it's gonna be like my foot back into dancing. And I tried it, and I'm sore. And I give all praise to y'all guys. Like, maybe I underestimated it. I'm I don't think that you should leave, though. Because this, it's important for all these girls to understand that when something gets difficult, and it's, it's hard, and the end of the road seems like it's just so far away, that's when you actually dig deep and work that much harder to push yourself to become the person, that dancer that you're trying to be. Um, I'm just, I'm more irritated with myself. Because, like, I feel like I'm a crab all over again. I'm so out of shape, and it's hard. I think that you are overthinking it. I think that you are just kind of putting a lot of pressure on yourself, but that's when you're a perfectionist and you're passionate about something and you love something, that's kind of what happens. I'm like that about myself, too. Now, I believe that this girl can dance because I've watched her, and I know that she can do this, but why is she giving up on a challenge? I don't want you to give up, because I feel like if you give up on this, I'm serious. Every time something gets hard in life, you're going to walk away from so don't walk away from something that you know that you can do. I don't want you to give up. I'm not letting you leave. If I have to sit on you, you're not leaving. <laughs> for some of the kids in the camp, this may be a cinch. It's nothing. They're catching on to everything. But for others that may be struggling and it's difficult, this is a chance for them to dig deep and push themselves across the finish line. All right, let's go. Line up, ladies. So when I count for you, you're ready. Come on. practice yet once again as we walk around Nashville. Everybody got on cowboy boots and cowboy hats and kind of walking all wide leg and bow leg like they're ready to ride a horse. Hey, we need to fit in with these people and get us some cowboy boots too. Get up! Did she say the red boots match my red it hair? Will. It will. That well, you know what? Awesome. You do have a point. <laughs> 11-12. The road trip has brought all the moms closer together. It's not going to change the fact that we're going to bicker, we're going to fight, and we're not going to like each other all the time. What? 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 No. Well, let's get up. Let's uh -oh. get it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Judge no Judy. I didn't know that I was up against your judgment. Oh, you got some hair now. Yeah. OK, are I we doing that? Oh, we yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to pull it the dice. Oh, yeah, I forgot you need EW. Extra wide, just like your mouth. Extra wide. Yeah. But it also has brought a very big light on each other, that we can get along, and we do have a lot in common. Cause we do got that in common. I we know. may not get along on everybody else, but them shoes. Every... <laughs> I got them big bags. <laughs> Oh, poor thingies. They got to get extra wide, feet fat, feet swell up, all this kind of stuff. Little old Mimi got out. I like all of them. I'll take all of them. Y'all know what? We Let's having too much fun. Let's what are the girls doing right now? Working their little hearts. And we ran here bus looking off. shopping for boots and hats, I and they know. just working. But you're kind of bad. We've come a long way. Usually it's, ah, bah, 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 bah. your hair ugly, your weave nappy. Now it's, girl, you feeling all right? Oh, I'm good. Girl, let me tell you what we did yesterday. Don't know how long that's going to last, but hey, I'll take it while I got it. 
one e and two e and three four five six shake seven and eight do the whole thing then you got one more eight count the whole road trip is to help the girls become better leaders and better dancers and also able to work with other people and to be able to teach someone else. In Nashville, all of my girls have their work cut out for them. Kalita is taking over for Christiana. She's going to make sure that Team Christiana still does what it needs to do in Christiana's absence. No excuses. Not everyone has the opportunity to go teach young ladies, you know, what we do on a daily basis. One, uh. Remember, don't throw your head back. You just lean back. But it's a lot to take on. It really is. Do this fall part. Because if you fall slow one more time, I'm going to cut you. If you know your body like you should know your body, you won't let your body hit that floor. I just want my team to be the best. My main thing is listen to what I'm telling you. And if you don't do this or do that, then you're going to have to go. Over three and four. To the right, to the top. What is you doing? What is you doing? You ain't rolling the right way, no. Last week, maybe if I would have been a little tougher, that I could have won. My game plan for this week, I'm hoping to switch some things up. Make sure that they're on point. If you ain't down there on one and you see everybody else go down, you need to get down there on two. We only have one more competition after this one, and Cameron has already won one, so she's already in the lead. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one. But Sandra Ann is going to add some bucket in there, because I know she can't do that. And for Christiane, I'm going to add a whole bunch of jazz lyrical stuff, because I know she can't do that. For Kayla, I'm gonna have a whole set for Kayla. Because last week I won, and I plan to do it again. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time I went up against Cammy, I lost. So the advantage of a smaller squad is it's not gonna take that long to get two people mind wrapped around, you know, one stand. Only two girls making my stand battle squad, but I don't really too much care about how many people in my team. They just need to get it, the people who are on my team. We had cuts today, and we didn't have problems until we got into the room by ourselves and no one else was around. That's when the, when the girls started to, you know, mess up, and they wanted to play around, they weren't serious, and I'm looking like, Y'all know y'all can get pulled out just as fast as y'all made cuts. Y'all, I'm doing my interview. All right, ladies. We're in Nashville, right? Nashville is also known for the barbecue. Bring me some barbecue. Mm. I am ready for the barbecue. Can I please get you to pick that chicken? You're cutting up? a piece of pie. It's already cut up, baby. And you ain't gotta use no fork. It's tender. It's, it's just pick it up with your finger. Why are you so worried about what you and Barry you worried about what the hell I have? I'm a hairy is. Bathing suits, this and that. Why are you worried about how I'm eating? Tina, get with the program. It's a good thing. Enjoy yourself. Eat your food, our mimosas, let's sit and relax and enjoy our time away from the girls. It's not that hard. Let me tell you something. I'm about to go to my nerve. Um, you got to use pick, my part. You just pick it up. You dip it in your butt. Let you know. I'm trying to eat my food, and she's messing with my digestive system because she over here eating barbecue with a knife. Come on now. Just pick up the damn meat with your hands, phalanges, and do what you got to do. It's like we brought the battle. Stay oh. over there. Oh. There's your don't plate. Even matter. There's your space. It's, it can this happen. my plate, and this it my can space. And, and keep it that it way. It can happen. And now, you can wear your heels and be all cute as you think you are. But at the same time, there's a day and a time to drop the mess. And while you eating barbecue, you don't disrespect the barbecue. You believe, you entitled. You feel you and, sis, you and Sanjay are entitled to everything. That's why we will see who will win tomorrow when they battle. Oh, yeah. She's entitled to their win, so don't we'll forget see. that. We'll see. We sure will. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that when we go out there, Y'all dance like y'all already won it. Right now, this is it. This is Nashville. It's like Super Bowl. Love your friends and family. But you want separate teams. That ain't gonna work, homie. I gotta win. You wanna know why I gotta win? Because when Kayla leaves, I wanna make sure that I get that position. It's open. It's gonna be me. If I could somehow beat Kayla again, that would be really 
Shocking. That one looks so good on Kayla's record, but hey, it look good on mine. A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. The battle atmosphere is shocking because I don't think the girls know what they're in store for. I think they have a mindset, but they really don't know what we actually go through. This week, I am filling in for Christiana. I want to take this all. I'm going to win it all, but you guys have to sell it. What other girl? She broke her toe. She broke her toe? Only two of y'all make cuts. Are you serious? I only had two of y'all. I lost one, so now I just got one person to battle with. It is a big, huge problem. Because, like, the way my stands were set up, it was good for three. Let's try to fix this one. Now I got to change my stuff again? I'm like, man, this is so frustrating. Now it's, like, nerve-wracking for me and her because how we gonna look at there, just us two? Kalita's battle squad take the floor. Team Sanjay's battle squad take the floor. Today I'm going against Kalita. I don't really know what to expect from her. I'm also confident in my team, so I think that, you know, the stands that we have are good and we'll be able to win with them. Team Sanjay is gonna go first. It's a life-size poster of Sanjay. Baby, we at a competition, not a beauty pageant. You come to work. Sanjay and Kalita. I'm like, I know Kalita can have some moves on her because she's head co-captain. I'm a little nervous. She's fresh. I was nervous. My team was nervous, but I didn't let them know I was nervous. I'm like, oh, you guys are gonna do fine. You're gonna do great. I'm here with you. In the back of my head, I'm just nervous as I don't know what. I hope we can all do it. When I see her throw her first stand, he's like, hmm, that's okay. I feel like I'm going to win the stand better, though. This has to be a close call. They're both great. They're both up there. OK. The winner is Kalita. To be honest, I really thought Sanjay had them because her stands were pretty cool. They're really, really cute. Team Sanjay, you are eliminated. You may exit the floor. I was really shocked because Sanjay's team was really good. Kalita's girls were okay, but me personally, I felt like Sanjay's girls were better. Kalita, have a seat. You will battle the winner of Team Kayla and Team Cameron. With Kayla being as aggressive as she is, especially when it's time to compete, Cameron's gonna have to come at her. She is going to have to kick the door down. What happened to the other girl? She messed her foot up. She broke her toe. She broke it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wish I had to change my stand. Uh, my stand. So after I kind of spazzed out about losing the teammate, I finally got myself together because as the captain of Dance Dodge, you don't do that. You just don't give up and quit. I'm like, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to work out, but hopefully God is on our side. I'm not nervous, babe. Why? The girl that Kayla has on her team, she's nervous. When I say nervous, she is scared. Hopefully Kayla can talk to her and shake some sense into her and have her breathe, relax, and just get the job done. Y'all ready? Last week, I won, and I plan to do it again. Kayla only has one girl. This is my opportunity to finally take her down and win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Watching the stand battle, I'm looking at Cameron like, yeah, Cameron is coming into her own. And I'm pretty sure Miss Diana's saying the same thing, because she's kind of looking like, wow. Yeah, you see that right there? Prodigal Mimi. That's Cameron. Hit her with a quick riddle, let it down. Plain and simple, it gets better. When she smiles, she got a sexy little dip of the wall. Kayla's going to get a butt whooping. I can smell victory. I can taste victory. I can hear victory calling my name. Don't get too cocky, because I'm the captain of Dance and Dolls. I'm going to show you what major it is. So sit back in the zero. Double double Right now, I'm just trying to leave everything out there on the floor because right now, I'm already sinking. I only have one person dance with me, and that's my disadvantage. But I'm also still trying to put up a fight. Kayla knows that when she's going against Camus, you're going to have to give more. You're going to have to feed the animals at the zoo if you're going to win against Camus. making all types of facial expressions. She, ah, like everything. So I was like, oh, Cameron is seriously coming for me. Like she was not playing no game, she said she was coming for me. The level of intensity on the floor is crazy. You know, Cameron sees that Kayla's team is weak right now. They've lost a member. Their other member is shaking in her boots, literally, and she's scared. So looking at that, I know as a captain or a leader, I would play on that. And Cameron went after Kayla with everything that she had. My group has a really good advantage because Kayla lost one. Like, her one girl could cost her the competition. Don't stop making love. Don't stop me making love. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what the judges think. A year ago, I wouldn't have never imagined Cameron having to compete against Kayla. Oh, hell no. Were you crazy? But this time, no worries. The winner is... Team Kayla. So I defeated Cameron, but that doesn't mean I won this shit. I told the girl, I was like, we are halfway done. Team Cameron, great job. Great job. Cameron should definitely not walk away with her head down. She did a good job. She's starting to tap into that aggressive side of her that is necessary for a battle. She is on her way to becoming captain of this team. Kalita, bring it to the floor. You will be first. Kayla's teammate did a really, really good job in round one, but I don't know how she's gonna hold up in round two. This is the final round. You're going for the gusto. This is it. Now we have to battle Kalita. She's like a triple threat because she has battled with us before. She's also a captain, and her swag, personality, and facials do not let you down. So I feel like she's an X factor right now because I don't know what she got, and now I'm finna battle her. So if you want beef, come and get in line. This battle was really intense because Kalita had through everything, including the kitchen sink, and I'm trying to like hold my own and. Be there, because I'm like, hey, me and you, we got this. We still got some good standing. Even though Kalita, she good, she throwing everything. We still got this. So quick to give up the goal. Oh, na, 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 na. Want you to put on the show. Oh, na, 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 na. Kayla's last stand utilized props. I thought it was pretty cool. The stand was very, very creative. You to the chair stand was like ridiculous. They was like going wild. They're like, whoa, oh, she got our chairs. She got our chairs. I was like, oh, snap. Yep, yep, this is, this is. Me and 
Kayla had to go against each other. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there were some stands that Kayla did, I didn't know we can do. I didn't know we could use props. So therefore, she had me on a slow stand. But at the end of the day, it was still a very good battle. All of us learned something from each other, and that's the most important part, and that the girls did a great and amazing job. All right, let's see what the judges say. Good job, both teams. The fact that I was able to help Kayla by putting the chairs out, I knew that this has to win the judges over. The winner is... Team Kayla. Yeah, so I came out on top. I beat Cameron and Kalita. I won. And I was so proud of myself because I became a type of person who can, like, transfer my situations. Like, I had came from such a bad situation to win it with only one person. Who does this? I'm like the whiz or something. I'm just bow, good, like that. While we're here in Nashville, we're gonna do something that's a little fun. You know, the girls always are working. So what I've done is I've arranged a meeting with the professional cheerleading team. that they're cheerleaders because they can dance their butts off and they were just spot on awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all are so gorgeous. <laughs> this is gonna be very fun because I've always wanted to be a professional cheerleader. Uh, yes, <laughs> in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you for Thank having you. us. So we know that you guys are the best that the South has to offer in what you do and we quite frankly think we're the best that the South has to offer and what we do. <laughs> Both majorette dance and professional cheerleading integrate jazz and lyrical style movements. There's a lot of hip hop, there's a lot of attitude, there's a lot of swag. So when Thacey says, well, how about you guys jump in line and learn some of our moves? I'm like, sure. One, two, point, three, and four ball change. Five, up six, and clap, and pump it up. To have my girls interact with a professional cheerleading squad is almost surreal. So we're gonna challenge them to a battle. So we're gonna keep it clean and we're gonna have fun. Nope. So since you guys are the home team, we'll let you go first. When I asked them could they bring it, they said, oh yeah, we can bring it. Cheerleading meets bucket. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. professional cheerleading team was like the best part of being in Nashville. But those girls actually showed us that they can do a stand battle and they actually did pretty good for it to be their first battle. I'm very familiar with the strengths of all four of the girls that are with me on the tour. I expect for Kayla, and Cameron to have probably the best matchup of the competition here in Michigan. The tension is high, stakes are raised, and it's just time to show down. Nice. I know this is the last stop. Everybody's gunning for this win. So it's Sunday's time now. Okay, I'm gonna do everything I can to support my daughter. Last week I won and I know that the other girls are coming for me. So I have a feeling that it's gonna be even. It's gonna be just so intense. Like every day gonna be so intense. And competition day gonna be just out your mind intense. Our last stop is in Detroit. Last week, Sanjay, she lost to Kalita, even though it was a close call. But this week, we gonna have this. We got it. I'm tired. 
Christina was sick, but now we back. You know, I know a lot of parents, they probably knew I was gonna come back, cause they know me, though. So I'm excited, cause now we back on beat. We back on track. Lord. Lord behold, my worst nightmare is standing there. I don't know what to do. Do I go get my own room? Do I pray about it? I'm just like, oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. Here come Brittany. The bitch is back. Mm, mm, mm. You got your dress on my bed. Oh, girl, I'm not used to sharing a room with anybody. She's not about to come up here and move a damn thing. I have everything just the way I like it. I'm not about to rearrange everything for you. These are like my makeup brushes, and I found this little glass. It's so cute, so I put that right there. And my mirror, you can use my mirror, though. I'm sure you're gonna need it. No, we got- You're we can, sharing can... a room with somebody. Sharing. Look. Brittany, Sherry. Sherry. You, know, you know what? Sherry. Selena, she works every nerve in my body. She do things that, to me, are unheard of. But you know, I'm here for Christiana at the end of the day. So whatever it takes for Christiana to win, I'm down. Not I know you probably don't stuff. know how to spell and what do, it means. Do not touch my but stuff. But we not my So if this is how it's going already, this trip is going to be intense. I mean, it's only going to get worse. This is off limits. Both the beds belong to me because I need them both. See if that couch let out. Don't get me wrong, Sanjay. I love you with all my heart. But your mama done lost her damn mind. You probably have a little small suitcase anyway. Just live out your suitcase, get on the couch, leave my things alone. What are you I'm doing? Not taking really? this. What? I'm not taking this. This is what I'm. This? What in the hell? I'm not it's living really like going. this. Okay. okay. Where is Thank going? You. Uh, That's what is going? Really? What? Uh uh. You know what? Tell you what? We don't right. have the share rooms. I got the best plan. What are you doing? What? Brittany, no! Oh my God, Brittany! This is how I like it. Come quickly, girls. Y'all come up together. The only thing I know about Michigan is the Great Lakes are there, and it's cold, a lot. They're about to get a crash course in Major Rip. The girls are gonna learn a full parade routine, and they're gonna prepare for stand battle. All right, everybody has their team captains now. While y'all cheering and carrying on, I hope y'all ready for the work that y'all about to get into. Christiana got sick, but now she's back on the team. She's a tough cookie. She's not gonna sit down by any means. Okay, the first thing you're gonna learn is Jay said walk. Everybody will sit on A. Everybody sit. Your toe should be up in the front. A lot of the girls that are in Michigan are cheerleaders or jazz lyrical style, but the majorette style is not something that they do on a norm. It's gonna be interesting to see how much of our style they can actually pick up. You have your team captains in the front. Watch them if you get lost. Here comes the music. The parade section of Detroit was terrible. We kept doing it over and over and over again. And after a while, you can't do nothing but yet keep yelling at them because I can't give you my talent. Time you better work. Back up. Come on, y'all, turn around. Come on, girls. Everybody should be still. Y'all starting to get louder and louder. Which one you want, Miss D or Coach D? I can be both. Coach D is the fool. You don't want to see the fool this morning. I need for y'all to concentrate. The girls are talking so much, and I'm starting to lose my patience. I'm trying not to turn into the coach side of me. I'm trying to remain Miss D. I don't have time to constantly tell them to stop talking. or die camp. You want to train like a dog? Hope you're ready. You want to buck like a dog? I hope you're ready. And you only have two days. 
to get ready for one performance. So the more time I'm saying, go to the bathroom, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? It's too much. Why am I here? Ask yourself that question. Do you feel me? Make sure you feel me. Because if you don't, I'm gonna make sure you do the next time you come back out, because we're gonna do it again. All right, what we're gonna do, everybody put their, put their things down. I want the first row to get up and come to the middle of the floor. And this is the last stop on our trip. And this is Cameron's last chance to try to prove herself in the stand battle. You are Team Cameron. Y'all probably gonna dance till your feet hurt. This is her last and final opportunity to leave her mark on this trip and say that, you know what, I may not be the most aggressive person, but I can still hold my own. Christiana, she gonna put a hurting on y'all too. Now, Christiana was out last week, and now Christiana's back, and she has a lot that she has to prove because we haven't seen her since Atlanta. So she's gonna have to up her game as well. Sanjay may seem like she's nice. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. She gonna get y'all too. Now, Sanjay, on the other hand, she came up a little short in Nashville, but now she doesn't want to lose. Now, Sanjay wants to prove to herself that she can do it. Kayla gonna try to kill y'all just for the record. Kayla's thing now is the fact that she's got this big neon red bullseye on her back that's lit up as saying, target, target, target. And everybody's gunning for her because they want to win. This is a competition for y'all. This is not just in here fun and games playing around. For them, it may be fun, but for y'all, it's competition. My best advice to them would be to go for it. I don't care that she's your friend. She's your opponent today. If you want to win, you better go after them and leave it on the floor. Do whatever you have to do to win. Kayla's group, they're gonna be doing a lot of different stuff, but don't let that worry you. We have a lot of things in our stands, and it's gonna, it's gonna pay off just fine. And Christiana, she's got a good set of stands, too. And Sanjay, she... <laughs> That's just Sanjay. Sanjay winning, that, that's like, I don't even know how to describe that. That's, nobody expects Sanjay to win. <laughs> Hey, y'all not together. Y'all gotta be together. I'm used to being the underdog, but I don't care either because I'm working my butt out to be flawless. So I'm gonna do my best to prove to everybody that I can do this. I mean, it may have taken time, but I'm up here and I'm doing it. It's one and pause. Three and pause. Tap and pause. Seven. Hey. Because of what happened in Nashville, I expect for Sanjay to up her game. Sanjay wants to win. She said it out loud. I'm coming for y'all. But I know that Sanjay is going to make sure that she does what she needs to do for her team to win. Buck five, six, leg seven, and eight. Y'all got that? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Why you laughing? Why you laughing? Christiana, she's a new captain. And being a captain means being vocal and demanding attention and leading by example. And she can't do that if she's mute. She's got to open up her mouth. She's got to speak. Like that. But punch her toes. Now slide up. Get off the ground. Get, get off. No. Get back on the floor. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Y'all know um, some of y'all can still be cut, right? With Christiana being as quiet as she is in practice, her silence is somewhat like a deadly weapon. Because you don't know what it is she's going to say, what she's going to do, how she's going to react. And people like that, you kind of have to watch out for in the real world. You got to watch them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, stop. You could. Yeah. If you want to be on Team Christiana, I expect you to Work hard, pay attention, because I got one goal and one goal only, to win. What's going on? Oh, I cut her. Why? Because, like, she really wasn't catching on, and, like, she had an attitude, too. Is this Christiana talking? Because usually Christiana doesn't say a word, but she's actually talking, and she's forceful. And I just draw back, like, what? Like, when I was trying to teach her the stuff and show her what she was doing wrong, she had an attitude. Okay, Christiana is not the same Christiana that she was in the last competition season. She's not the same person. She's growing up and she's actually stepping into her captain's position. Everything that I'm trying to get her to do is actually working. Do it again. 
my group is doing pretty good. Today they learn like everything. But they just need to work on their short time of memory. They just gotta work, work really hard on it. And all the stunts, they gotta kill them and do them all the time. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Kayla has a great challenge ahead of her, but Kayla is used to being the person that's in charge. She's used to being the captain. She's uh -huh. never one to back down. Who's yours? Why, why are you slowing it down? Like, just do it. Just kick, kick, down. Do it again. Do it faster. I would pray for the girls on my stand by the squad because I hate losing. I'm not finna have it. I, j I just can't, especially to my own teammates. And I'm the captain. I supposed to be over everybody? Oh, no. Oh, no. They can't have it. Damn. Can't jump. Drag it up. Seven, kick, drop. Five, six. Cameron's gonna be my biggest competition because not only did she win in Atlanta, she got this like drive in her eyes and like, for real, I'm coming for you. And when you say you come for me, they do something too, because I'm like, okay, now this thing, this thing, you know all the stand needs to be just for you. Drop six and seven and pop. Y'all need to make sure Y'all go over this stuff and retain. If y'all don't know these things, y'all not gonna get behind me and say, oh, we don't take Kayla, because it's not gonna happen. At this moment right here, this is what the DD4L tour is all about. Today, it's Team Kayla, Team Christiana, Team Cameron, and Team Sanjay. There is no DD4L. There is no dancing dolls. It's every man for himself. And if you want to win, you have got to get into that mentality. So how y'all feel to be in Detroit? No one, Cameron is going to take this all the way home. I'm what? just saying. Nah, yeah. it's Sunday today, baby. We got Team Christian in the building. Oh, whatever. We all, we being cordial, but we know that it's game time. Every girl ready to bring their A game. You know, this time is kind of strange because usually we get a chance to peek in the wonder and see what's going to happen. We don't know anything. Whoever wins, we, we know the band's going to be on the floor, but the captain got to take it home. May the band so take home. Sanjay. And it's gonna be lights, Cameron, action. I'm looking over at Mimi, because I know we were both extra nervous, because she knows how Kayla feels about Cameron. They love each other to death. But right now, it's a battle to the death. And I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Whoever wins, we know the best gonna be on the floor, but the captain gotta take it home. No, I ain't gonna all the way, not to scream Team Kayla. Team Kayla gonna get beat today. I'm just saying. You know, Tina's my friend. She's cool. But today, bitch, well, Kayla gonna get beat. Sorry. No harm, no intentions. You know, it is what it is. Oh, the stakes are high, baby. The stakes are high. May the best Stake star win. win. It's time for the parade category of today's showcase, and I'm worried. Password. The parade practices did not go well. The girls were not paying attention. Some of the girls were forgetting what comes next with the train wreck. I'm hoping that something between yesterday and today changes, and when they get ready to perform, it really looks good. It's like a light bulb came on over the heads of each one of them. And they realized that everything that I have been saying the entire training camp is actually true. This loud, crazy woman knows what the hell she done about. Well, I know a thing or two about the gang you're running to do, and I promise you won't be winning. Crazy. We have all these moms cheering for the dancing dolls and their babies. And I can relate to that because I felt the same way when Sunday first performed. The 
girls were scared. They were nervous. I didn't know if they were gonna be able to actually do the choreography after looking at them on the first day. But to see it actually all come together, it made me feel really good as a coach. So, stand by, I was getting ready to start. You gonna win? You gonna win? You gonna win? Or are you gonna win? Last week, I lost to Kayla. No. It's not going down so easy. Okay. She's gonna go down with the fight. Hope y'all ready, because I wanna see. Hmm. I need to get y'all squads ready, because it's time. Christiana will get Kayla the business. That's just the reality of it. Christiana just have a great presence about herself. You know, she's very flexible. Christiana is a stunner, you know. Kayla get no. Little star hit the gas, race car, crowd jumping up and down, space ball. Now it's time to take the lead. Pace car. Now we move at top speed. Watching Kayla and Christiana go back and forth at each other, it was simply surreal for me because Christiana took the brakes off. And she actually went at Kayla with everything that she had. To watch Kayla come back at her, Kayla wasn't playing with her. Kayla didn't care who it was. All she knew is that you're standing on the other side of that line. So right now, we're not on the same team and I'm gonna treat you, and I'm gonna battle you like a stranger. to see which way it may go. Best man win, you know. Kayla can be beat. It can happen. Both teams did good. The winner is... Team Kayla. I was happy I let my team know y'all made it past the first round. That don't mean you may win, but you made it past the first round. Good job. All right. Team Christiana exit the floor, please. Team Kayla into the floor. You will be up against the winner of the next round. Can I have Team Cameron to the floor? No one expects me to win, but I'm used to being the underdog, but I don't care either because I'm planning to shock the world. So Cameron, don't get ahead of yourself because I might end up beating you. Sanjay throws her first stand and I'm like, oh hell. Where'd that come from? Sanjay has energy that she doesn't normally have. Hey girl, all the time, time. I swear your okay. love is all that I need. Wherever yes. I go, you're right there with me. You're my peace of mind. You're like therapy. When we're face to face, it's like clarity. You're the only sight that I care to see. So my strategy, when I'm battling Sanjay, I basically want to throw all of my easy stands because I saved all of my heavy handed stands for nobody but Kayla. I wanna go. as far as going against Cameron is to basically just, you know, try my hardest, book really hard because I know that she's used to that, but basically feel really confident in myself and my team and not to be afraid. I'm thinking like, yeah, I got this. I guess that what I'm trying to say is you know I want I'm 
a Sanjay all the way. Don't underestimate the underdog because she can start off from zero to a hundred, baby. So you better watch out. She probably thought that she was gonna win against me, but she didn't. And I was like, oh, that means I can't get to Kayla. Oh, oh Lord, it's gonna be a fight when we get back to the hotel. Sanjay wins this round. Shocked the hell out of me. But I'm really excited for Sanjay. She really worked at it. She knew what she was going to need to do to beat Cameron, and that's what a good competitor does. Team Cameron, you may need to the floor. Team Kayla, bring it. Let's go. Sanjay versus Kayla was almost like David versus Goliath. I know that Sanjay has a lot to prove, and she realizes that if I take the captain out, that's going to say a lot about me as a dancer. They're going to come out swinging at each other. Uh, we ain't friends no more. Yeah, we ain't friends. Uh, baby, friends, right here. Right. Oh, good, good. Because hey, I was thinking the same thing, though. What's that? Because I'm at the cross. Team, too. Oh, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I'm glad you're picking up something uh, off of me. Sanjay has something to prove right now. So that is a very dangerous person across from you right now. The fact that, oh, OK, y'all thought I couldn't dance. Now I'm on the battle squad. Now I'm going to show you I can beat Kayla. And that'll be like an ultimate triumph. You know? So at this point, I'm like, all right. No holding back. Unleash the hounds. Let's go. It's kind of weird to battle somebody who you helped to get there. Like, I remember when Sanjay wasn't even on the battle squad. And now she's on a road trip with us battling me. And I'm the person to help her get on the battle squad. that my baby's gonna win because she is so determined, she's motivated, and she's not stopping. Welcome to the city that Trace built, where the bed sheets are silk, the Cadillacs on tilt. I'm at the center of it all, feeling like I'm will. I don't hold guns or grudges, homie, that ain't how I'm built. The stand battle between Kayla and Sanjay is more intense than I probably would have ever expected. To watch someone that is the underdog go up against someone who is the heavyweight champion, it's kind of like the fight of the century. Even though I was going against her, I was like, look at Sanjay. And I thought you couldn't do it. But that's people underestimating her. Like, Sanjay just stepped up a lot. Like, I actually am proud of her. was 
cheering for me. I feel great about my fans. I feel really good. I think I won. The judges are deliberating on what, who's going to win. And my heart was like, All right. The winner of the stand battle is Team Kayla. When I won, I was so happy. I was so proud of myself because I was like, I jumped over all those obstacles and still made it. myself because I started off as this girl who didn't have a lot of confidence. I couldn't make stand better work nothing. Then I started to make I started to perform and now at this camp I was a leader. Congratulations on your completion of the DD4L training camp. A lot of the girls were scared to see that they actually stuck it through and didn't give up. It says a lot about the character of each and every one of those kids. Y'all should be very, very, very proud of yourself. These kids are gonna run into so many obstacles as they grow up. People are gonna constantly slam a door in their face. They're gonna constantly tell them no. And this camp was about showing that there are challenges that you're going to face and you can overcome them and you can conquer them. The girls did not look scared. None of y'all's girls looked scared. They looked very, very comfortable. All four of the girls showed an enormous amount of heart. They worked very hard to push their teams to be able to compete. For two days, what y'all did with them in two days, that was amazing. So y'all should be proud of yourself. Going into the next competition season, I expect to see the girls continue to step up, continue to raise the bar. Now that the girls realize, I can actually push myself to achieve a goal that I thought was absolutely impossible. Everybody better watch out. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey.